All right. Welcome back, everyone, to another deep dive. Today we're going deep, deep. into the psychology of trading. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be talking about the emotional side of trading. Oh, yeah. Things like, you know, revenge trading and over trading. Right. All those pitfalls that people fall into. Yeah. And, you know, I think this is something that a lot of people can relate to. Right. Even if you're not like a day trader or something like that. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's made an emotional decision. Absolutely. And Maybe they regret. So it's kind of like envision this. Okay. Like imagine you're going to a trading therapist. Okay. Right. Like what would you be confessing to this trading therapist? What kind of bad trades did uh, you make? Oh, that's a good question. Right. What kind of emotional turmoil led you to those trades? Well, you know, one thing that I see a lot, and this is something that I've definitely struggled with myself, is this idea of yeah. over-trading. Yeah, and I think that's something that a lot of new traders do. For sure. They feel like they need to be in the market all the time. Yes, absolutely. And they right. need to be making trades constantly. Yeah, I think that's driven by FOMO, yeah. fear of missing out. Exactly. And and also this this need for instant gratification. Yes. You know, like they, they see other people making money and they're like, mm -hmm. well, I need to get in on that too. Right. It's like I need to be right now making money right now. Yeah. And that 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 can lead to some really bad decisions. Yeah, definitely. You know, they're not thinking clearly. Right. They're not following their strategy. Mm -hmm. They're just chasing, you know, whatever's hot at the moment. Yeah. It's like a I don't know. It's like going shopping when you're hungry. Yeah. You know, you just buy everything. Yeah, you just buy all the junk food. You don't need. Yeah, exactly. And then you get home and you're like, yeah, I don't even like this. Why did I buy all this? Yeah. So yeah. And what about uh Yeah. What about like revenge trading? Oh, revenge trade. Like I feel like that's like a whole other beast. It's a big one. Yeah. That's where you have a losing trade and then you get angry. Mhm. Mm and you just want to like get back at the market. Yeah, like the market's a person, right. you know, who's wronged you. Yeah, it's like I'm going to show you yeah. I'm going to win this time. <laughs> exactly. But of course, the market doesn't care about your feelings. No, it doesn't. It's just going to keep doing its thing. Right. And I feel like that's when people like really blow up their accounts. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is when they're revenge trading. It's like uh, it's like when you're playing a video game okay. and you keep losing to the same person yeah. and you just keep playing them over and over again. Yeah. Even though, you know, you're probably going to lose again. Yeah. But you just like can't stop. It's like you got to beat them. Yeah. I got to prove that I'm better than them. Yeah. You got to get that win. But you just keep losing more and more. Yeah. And that's kind of what happens with revenge trading. Right. And so how do we like break free from these emotional traps? Yeah. How do we become more right. emotionally intelligent traders? Yeah. Exactly. Well, I think the first step is just awareness. Okay. Right. Like just recognizing that you're going to have emotions right. when you're trading. It's impossible not to. It's impossible. Yeah. So don't try to like suppress them or ignore them. Right. Just acknowledge them. Okay. And be like, okay, I'm feeling really greedy right now or right. I'm feeling really scared. Yeah. And how is that affecting my decision making? Right. And one thing that can really help with that is keeping a trading journal. Okay. Yeah. So before you enter a trade, yeah. just write down what you're feeling. Yeah. Why are you entering this trade? Okay. What's your rationale? Right. And then after the trade, you right. know, whether it's a win or a loss, right. write down how you're feeling. Okay. And what you could have done differently. So it's like you're kinda like you're kinda like looking back exactly on your past self. Reflecting. Right. And being like yeah. Okay, what was I thinking there? Exactly. And you start to see patterns. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, I always get really greedy when the market's going up. Right. And then I make stupid trades. Yeah. <laughs> or I always get really scared when the market's going down. Right. And then I sell at the bottom. Yeah. And then and then you can start to develop strategies to overcome those those emotional weaknesses. Absolutely. And that might mean like taking a break. Okay. If you're feeling tilted. Right. Or maybe doing some mindfulness exercises mm -hmm. to calm down. Okay. Yeah. Or even just setting like really strict trading rules yeah. that you have to follow. So you don't deviate even if you're no matter what. Feeling emotional. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And you know, it's it's funny because yeah. I feel like all these things that we're talking about, right, they apply to life in general. Absolutely. Because right. it's not just trading. It's decision making. It's yeah. any kind of decision making. Right. Like if you're right. negotiating a salary, buying a car. Yeah. yeah. And Maybe. Like all these things that we're talking about. Yeah. They're just as relevant. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So emotional intelligence is a superpower. So as we wrap up this deep dive, yeah. I want to leave you with this. Right. What is one emotion that you're going to pay more attention to hmm. in your own decision making? Yeah. And how can you use that awareness 
to make better choices? Those good questions. Whether you're trading stocks or just navigating life. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Of course. And we'll see you next time. See you.